For us hybrid shooters, the main features in a tripod are versatility, mobility, sturdiness. Hi friends, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Dirk and this is the iFootage Gazelle TA3B Uprise with the Komodo K3 head. I studied all night to get this right. It weighs only 3.4 pound, 1.5 kilogram, and folded, it's as small as 55 centimeter, about 20 inch. Can it actually get bigger? <laughs> oh yes, it gets bigger. Fully extended, it would reach 150 centimeter, 59 inches. It is not a compromise at all. All right, let's talk about the Komodo K3 hat. And this is something that excites me most about this tripod. To mount the camera on this mountain plate, the Komodo K3 hat has a little tool here that is magnetically attached. And this is great, so you always have it with you. We have ball head action here as soon as we open and rotate the red screw. And it is very easy to lock it and secure it back in place. Here on this carbon fiber lever, we can tilt the camera up and down and it adjusts it right back in place. It has like a rubbery action that it brings it back in place. It is very interesting, it's very nice, and that makes the movement and the motion with the camera very smooth. But what's most exciting about the Komodo K3 hat is the panning action. Here we have such a nice resistance that allows us to get really a smooth motion with the camera. Panning it left and right with this resistance makes it so much easier to smoothly follow your subject. And this is why I think for hybrid shooters this is ideal. There's also a carbon fiber version available that is 10 centimeter shorter and weighs about 250 gram less. So that would be half a pound less to carry. I am very grateful that we have flip locks because in the end it is so much faster compared to the twisty locks where you have to individually for every single segment open it, twist it, pull out the leg, twist it again to affix it. So this here is so much faster. You can absolutely change positions while still talking about the tripod. You have to push in the leg, pull out this piece, and then you bring up the leg, push in the affixation piece, and you have a different position here. And there's another position you can get it into. Same thing. And here we have position number three. So that makes it very versatile. Not having to deal with a center post with a center column allows us to bring in the legs so much closer together and therefore we have less girth, only 20 centimeters, about 8 inches on the thickest part and that makes it so easy to stow and to travel. There's also a little disadvantage not having a center post. If we want to make a micro adjustment in terms of height, if we would have a center post all it would take was to open a screw here and then to adjust it to the height we need. Since we don't have this option, we would have to open all the flip locks on the legs and adjust each leg until we have the perfect position. And that can also mean we have to readjust the balance of the tripod. Underneath here we do have a little hook, so if you want to put on some weight to make it even more sturdy, you can. I was in the market for a new tripod and I was very excited when I footage announced the Gazella TA3B Uprise with the Komodo K3 head. Remember, I studied hard. I footage sent it to me for review, but no money has exchanged hands and I don't get paid to convey a certain message. But I can honestly tell you that this is my to-go-to tripod when I'm out and about. What are your thoughts on the Gazelle TA3B Uprise with the Komodo K3 hat? Is this something you'd be interested in? Let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely respond. Oh, and a free way to support my channel would be to leave a like. And if you like my channel overall, despite me not posting as often as I should. Please consider to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Till the next time, stay safe, stay tuned and take care. Bye for now.